Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a Hennessy Mammoth, which is basically a Dodge Ram TRX that's just been super tuned with loads of power. Next to me is a Jeep Trackhawk. And of course, we're going to have a drag race because I want to see which of these American beasts is quickest over the standing quarter mile. Now, if you like these kind of drag races, then make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Anyhow, let me tell you about this mental Hennessy. It's powered by a 6.2 litre supercharged V8 with 1,000 and 26 horsepower and 1,340 newton meters of torque. Drives all four wheels for an eight-speed automatic gearbox with launch control. Though I won't be using launch control because according to the people who make this Hennessy, it's better just launch by brake boosting it. So that's what I'll be doing. I think the normal Dodge Ram starts from around 2.8 tons. This one with extra bits on it is around 3.2 tons. Then there's a the price. You can get them in the UK. But imported, they cost 122,000 pounds, but you are getting quite a lot of metal and power for that cash that Jeep Trackhawk. So it's powered by the same 6.2 litre supercharged V8. However, it doesn't have as much horsepower, 707 horsepower to be precise, and 875 newton meters of torque. It's also got an eight speed automatic gearbox driving all four wheels. It has launch control. Our driver over there, racing driver Sam, will be using launch control on that because it goes better on that than if you hold it on the brake. Odd, but there we go. Maybe it's something to do with this Mammoth's knobbly tyres or something. Anyhow, back to that Trackhawk. Price of that, £90,000. It's a lightweight compared to this. Just a mere 2.4 tonnes. I'd like to say a big thanks to the guys lent us that. Adam Tanvir, thanks mate. Appreciate it. Let's get on with this quarter mile drag race. Buy, sell, car, wow. Before we race, we're going to do the customary car my sound check. So I'm going to rev up the Mammoth. Quite impressed with how this spins up. Not so impressed with the soft limiter. Hey Sam, how are you? I'm very well, Matt, how are you? I'm all right, it's a real nice sunny day. Everything looks lovely outside. Would you like to cause some um, noise and exhaust pollution by revving up your V8? Let's have a listen to it. That sounds better than this, doesn't it? Soft limiter. But, but as he says, a soft limiter. Ah. Now, if you're interested in buying yourself one of these crazy American cars. You might need to sell your current car and if you want to see how much your car is really worth, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below to get a car wag. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then our dealers will bid on your car. Now if you want to sell it, you can just pick the best offer and the dealer will come to your house, take the car away, put the money straight into your account. If you don't want to sell it, you can just do it for fun. Anyhow, there's no charge, it's completely free and there's no obligation to sell either. Now if you want to do all that at a later date or need help choosing which car to buy next, simply Google Help Me Car Wow and my team and I'll help you get your perfect car at a great price. I'm just looking down at my MPG and I'm averaging 7.4. I wonder what it's going to be after we've done all these performance tests. Will it go lower? Can it even go lower? That's pretty low. Sam, just quickly before you race, what MPG is your car saying that you're averaging? Um, standby. What's the figure? Come on, Sam, wake up. It is saying 15.2 average MPG and I've got a range of 108 miles left. So remember that number and we'll see what it's actually showing after we've done all the racing, okay? One thing I should let you know is that this truck is reading in American miles per gallon, which are always less than British ones for some reason. Anyway, so when you convert it, it's actually working out 8.9 British miles per gallon. Still pretty crappy. Let's do the racing and try and forget about that. Three, Straining at the leash, both vehicles. Oh, he had me off the line. I'm just freaking destroying me. Big jumped, but I don't care. Got absolutely spanked. Right, you know what? I wonder if John Hennessy is wrong. I know it's his truck and everything, but maybe if I do put it in launch control, it might go better. The wind was coming from like Southwest Lynn. That always puts me off. That means I need another go. Could your big yellow truck of compensation not help you now? Is that a kind of penis reference? It's always a penis reference. And yeah, let's have another go. I might have jumped that a little bit. Let's do a student's inquiry. Did Sam jump the start? No, he didn't, but he has to creep into the spot because the car doesn't seem to want to sit still. Okay, I'm going to try launch control on this anyway and see if I do better. Three, two, one. John, you need to learn from me. You definitely need to brake boost this vehicle to get the best time. But it's not helping.
damn, this did so well. I don't think I'm gonna get a better time out of this mammoth. It's still pretty impressive that this big pickup truck, which is super practical and absolutely massive, runs that track org, which was like Jeep's like best drag racing vehicle for quite a while, so close. What do you reckon, Sam? The weight of that, I can't believe how much it actually does keep up. It's the moral winner, I think, in this race. I'm not sure that a supercharged V8 that is driving around a 3.2 litre truck with just one person in it can ever have a moral victory. America, yeah. <laughs> Don't you mean America? F yeah. Coming once again to the mother day, yeah. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Jeep won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.7 seconds, while the Hennessy took 12.5 seconds. Now you're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour, normal, comfort, whatever setting, and automatic mode for the gearbox. Three, two, one, go. It's a race to the half mile. Come on! And here's the half mile. What happened with your track fart? This kicked down all right, I suppose, in normal mode, but yeah, you just left me. You sound like you say that to an ex-girlfriend. You just left me. Once again, we're going to do a rolling race from 50 miles an hour, though this time we're going to be in our sportiest setting and manual mode for the gearbox. It's not in third gear. Three, two, one, go. Oh, he's got me there. Oh, no. So basically, the issue last time was just the kick down. Even though these have the same transmission, this just kicked down quicker than yours did when it was in like normal mode, correct? Yes, and it shifts up a little bit too soon in auto. I think that's what the problem was. So there you go. Interesting, huh? Now we can have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. Though, Sam, I need to tell you something about that vehicle. Adam, who owns it, specifically had it serviced before it came here, so it'd be tip-top condition. However, his dealer wasn't able to do the brakes, which they were supposed to do, and they've only got 20% of the pads remaining. And from my point of view, I've got a 3.2 ton truck on proper hardcore off-road knobbly tires. So I think this could be an absolute disaster for both of us. Well, I tell you what, I'll bail left and you bail right, and that stops the, uh, the big explosion, and then we'll see how far down the road we get. Now, if you'd rather watch another drag race involving that Jeep track org where it goes up against a load of other high-performance SUVs, click on the pop out banner up there for the link in the description below if you'd rather see me and sam crash while trying to do this brake test stay with us because we're going to do it now okay here comes the line <laughs> do you know what sam i think we both lost though you lost by slightly less there was so much brake dust coming out of your car, it looked amazing. This actually stopped, it was squirming, but I'm not dead, it's a win. Well, surprisingly, this didn't like squirm at all. It was like dead steady, it just took a while. And by the way, Adam, if you're watching this, you definitely need to get your brakes fixed now because you're only on 10%. Anyway, back to the beginning. Remember we were talking about MPG? So I've got 6.8 American MPG, which is this much in British MPG. What? have you got now, Sam? I've got 13.9. I think you lost the MPG test in some ways because you brought yours down by quite a lot, didn't you? Whereas mine's only fluctuated ever so slightly. Although, once again, I think it's a case that we're both losers. Although we're both winners because these cars are both epic. 